A bill that would provide more exceptions to the abortion ban in Tennessee failed in a House committee. It would allow abortion care for pregnancies resulting from rape and incest. It would also allow physicians to provide an abortion if they believed it would protect the patient's physical or mental health. Right now, abortions are illegal, except in the case where the mother's life is in jeopardy, like with an eptopic or molar pregnancy. The Democrat who sponsored it says this bill protects women and children who face trauma from carrying a child after being raped. The humane thing for us to do would be to not force those persons under those circumstances to carry that child. Sevierville Representative Andrew Farmer says he disagrees with the suggestion children born of rape or incest wouldn't have meaningful lives. There are plenty of lives that are meaningful and purposeful that came from rape or incest. And there, I can guarantee there are folks today that thank God every day that they're alive that came from the unfortunate events. The sponsor, who's a Democrat of this bill, says that is not what the bill applies, implies rather. A reminder, the Tennessee General Assembly is a Republican supermajority, meaning it is unlikely any Democrat introduced bill would pass to law. Well, the subcommittee also voted to delay a vote on a bill that would make it criminal for someone to help a minor get an abortion. That includes taking them out of state. Republican representative from Knoxville, Jason Zachary, introduced the bill concerning abortion trafficking, as he calls it. Action was deferred to next week. New